You work at the phone company. It ain't life and death. You have no idea. Marvel's Agent Carter returns tonight with an all new episode, and ET Online has the exclusive details of what's next straight from the stars. Hey everyone, I'm Leanna Aguilera with ET Now, and I sat down with leading lady Haley Atwell and her partner in crime, James Darcy, to find out what's happening with the second season and how to be a kick ass secret agent. Plus, Haley dishes on the kindred connection between Peggy and Captain America, and it's guaranteed to make you swoon. Take a look. I cannot begin to tell you how much I'm loving the show, but I hate the fact that I only get it for such a short amount of time. Would you be open to doing another set of episodes? Yes. We, we've already been picked up for seasons two through eight, and we're going to shoot 100 episodes a season, which is... which is exciting. We've got a publicist who's dying behind <laughs> you right now. Um, no, well, we would love to. I would love to. Um, it's there is so much. You can so speak for us. We we would love to. We, we the people. Um, what's great about it is we know from the Winter Soldier that she lives a very, very, very long life, and it's implied that she gets married, she has children one day. So, and she has a background in in England, and so there's so much we can explore. How do you think she would react if, during this time? someone were to tell her, hey, by the way, he's not actually dead. He's oh, just yeah. kind of frozen. I think that would be the big, well, be the biggest shock of her life. I, I, I think that, you know, there was so much of their relationship that was not explored in the first one. It was just suggested. It was, there was a real innocence of it, and which I, which I really loved. So I, I, I can't say if they would have ended up together. I think that what they have is profound respect for each other and they're kind of kindred spirits. So she, now that she thinks he's gone, she's trying to carry on his legacy. And so if she was to meet him, I'm, I'm sure she would fancy the pants off of him, but I, I, I don't know how it would turn out. During the war, I had a sense of purpose, but now I, connect the calls, but I never get a chance to make them. Do you know what I mean? Do you feel like sometimes she feels like she has nothing to lose? That sh she has a fight in her, but I think it means that it puts her on the edge of survival all the time mm -hmm. because she's fighting for a, a greater cause and to kind of push um, push herself forward and for other women too. I love the fact that every character in their own right in this show is a badass. What do you guys think are the three things needed to be a kick-ass character in the Marvel world? High heels. High heels. Uh, good lipstick. Oh no, that's just you. Okay. A good hat. Yes. Everyone needs a good hat. A good hat. Love the hat.